Are you concerned about your memory? Well, today on the Julie Tussie Show, we're going to be sharing with you 14 natural ways to improve your memory. You are not going to believe some of the things you can do, you're going to love doing to help your memory and body stay healthy. Welcome to the Julie Tussie Show. And while you're here, please subscribe and leave a great review for us. Get on the Julie Tussie train. We're going somewhere, baby. Pop the glam pain. It's time for the Julie Tussie Show live guest, current event, scathing exposés. The original suburban bombshell, the big blonde baby. Giving you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. And now, here's Julie Tussie. On the Julie Tussie Show. I am so glad to be with you in September, baby. I love September. It is boot season coming up, and I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing, amazing. Well, for those of you listening to the Julie Tussie Show here on iHeartRadio and iTunes and everywhere you can get a podcast, want to let you know that we're doing a simulcast right now. I'm actually creating a video while I do this. Sometimes I do Facebook Live at the same time. If you'd like to be part of the Facebook posse, you can go over to facebook.com forward slash Julie Tussie 23 and you can find me right there. You can also find me on the Julie Tussie Show fan page. So how are you doing? It is fall and I am so excited. I cannot tell you how excited I am about fall. We have a lot of great things going on here on the Julie Tussie Show, and fall is my favorite time of year. So in November, we're going to be talking about pumpkin stuff, we're going to be talking about boots, we're going to be talking about glamour. We all already gave you our fall fashion forecast, and you have got to go check it out. Go back and look in the archives, because it wasn't too long ago. I think uh, I kind of got excited, so it might have been like the end of July, (laughs) maybe the first of August. But wanted to talk to you about that. Today we have a very great topic to talk about called 14 Natural Ways to Improve Your Memory. But before we get to that, I wanted to give a shout out to, let me pull this up on my phone, to a young lady who reached out to me and she said some of the kindest, sweetest things. And um, she she gave a shout out and shared the podcast there. And so I want to read this to you. Her 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 uh, name on Instagram is one smart fortunate cookie. So at one smart fortunate cookie, love the name. She mentioned me and she said, "So last night, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. It's fall in Kentucky. So last night I was driving home and listening to my girl at Ju- at the Julie Tussie show about when your dreams feel far away. And I related so much when she said that life can get you to a place where not only are you not dreaming anymore, but you aren't even thinking about dreaming. <laughs> yes, I did. And that we are all made for a purpose. Sometimes it's a big purpose. Sometimes it's small. But every purpose is great. And maybe your ministry, quote unquote, is just being who you are. If you need some encouragement today, give the podcast a listen. And then she put the link be- below. So shout out to one smart, fortunate cookie. Thank you so much. Now, if you're listening on iHeartRadio, iTunes, those kind of platforms, and right on YouTube, you'll be watching this video. Please do subscribe and leave us a great review. I so appreciated her doing that. That made my day. I texted, I, I wrote back and I said, oh my gosh, you, you made me feel blessed and humbled. <laughs> but you know, it's true. So I think it was just two episodes ago that I released that. What to do when your dreams feel far away. And you'll be able to go back and listen to that. So give it a listen. But that brings me to the point that if you're enjoying the show, please do share it with your friends and family and let them know about the Julie Tussie show. We are on a mission to empower men and women alike, but I kind of talk to women more, 
to empower them to be everything they were created to be and to do everything they were created to do and to realize it's never too late. You're never too old. Uh, just do it. If whether, whether it's, you know, raising your family and having a great um, a great time doing that and a successful time doing that, or if it's health or if it's fitness or if it's fashion, if it's glamour, if it's a business dream, whatever, it is never too late and you're never too old. So that's our goal right here on the Julie Tussie show is to encourage you to do that. So share it with your friends and family. So lots going on here. Wanted to talk about something that's been coming up. You know, we talk about fitness and health a lot on the Julie Tussie show. The reason we do that is because I've been 30 for quite some time and I've gone through dealing with perimenopause and menopause and the the knees feeling different and your body feeling different and there's just so much that goes on like from the age of 35 and forward things seem to change drastically here and there. So because of that I wanted to talk about this thing about natural ways to improve your memory. I'm I'm sure they're going to hit on it in this article. And I'm reading this article from Healthline.com. And it's uh, Healthline.com slash nutrition slash ways to improve your ways to improve memory. So I've noticed that there seems to be an epidemic of dementia and Alzheimer's lately. We were actually on uh, the real Gary Tussie morning show on 92.5 WEKY here in Richmond, Kentucky, today talking a little bit about this and about how they used to think that fats caused heart attacks and blah, blah, blah. Well, I've noticed another trend going on, and that is this Alzheimer's and dementia. And I believe that it is related to fats and that we've cut out so many of our fats out of our diet. And there's so many good fats that we need. And so I wanted to talk about this, and they've done a study... I might do another podcast on it when I get more information, but they're beginning to correlate that if you are overweight, you are more of a candidate for these two things to happen. We'll be right back. After a week of hearing hundreds of I can'ts, I'm here today to tell you, you can. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash the Julie Tussie show and Instagram the Julie Tussie show home of the original Suburban Bombshell. To get your copy of the music you hear in today's program, go to cdbaby.com forward slash cd forward slash Julie Tussie 4. So, of course, talking about the things that we do with women's health, men's health on the Julie Tussie show, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this. So there are natural ways to improve your memory. I don't know about you, but when I started going through severe perimenopause and menopause, I started getting what they called foggy brain. Oh, I don't like it. I do not like it. I could look right at somebody in the throes of this, the most horrible, god-awful throes of it. I could look right at one of my best friends who I've known for years and not be able to recall their name for like 15 seconds. And that is a very, very scary thing to happen. And it does make you go, oh my gosh, am I going to get Alzheimer's? Am I going to get dementia? What's going on with me? A lot of it is hormone related, but now they're correlating overweightness to being a candidate for those things. So we need to talk about it. We need to find out what it is we do with our diet and with our health to improve this. So this Healthline article really stood out to me. I want to talk to you about it. It's called 14 Natural Ways to Improve Your Memory. Let me read a little bit to you. I don't see, um, I don't see who actually wrote it, so sorry about that. Everyone has moments of forgetfulness from time to time, especially when life gets busy. While this can be completely a normal occurrence, having a poor memory can be frustrating. Genetics play a role in memory loss, especially in serious neurological conditions like Alzheimer's disease. However, research has shown that diet and lifestyle have a major impact on memory, too. Here are 14 evidence-based ways to improve your memory naturally. So if you're struggling a little bit, get ready. Get your pen out, get your phone out, get your notes out, and get ready to take some notes because this is some good stuff. May not be what you want to hear. It may not be, but as we get older, we need to take care of ourselves. And if you're in your 20s or your teens and you're listening to me today, please take my advice and begin to make a change now and save yourself some heartache and some pain and maybe some memory loss along the way. Number one, eat eat less 
added sugar. Okay, this is a biggie for me, a real big biggie. I um I have noticed that I feel so much better if I cut sugar from my diet. So so what they said in the article is eating too much added sugar has been linked to many health issues and chronic diseases, including cognitive decline. So meaning our memory. Now they've also linked they think sugar to cancer. So we can't go wrong here, people. So we cannot go wrong. Research has shown that a sugar laden diet can lead to poor memory and reduced brain volume, particularly in the area of the brain that stores short-term memory. And that is the thing I think that I have dealt with the most on this is the short-term memory thing. Like I can remember like 1998 when I gave birth to my twins, like it happened two days ago. (laughs) But if you ask me what I ate for lunch yesterday, it's going to take me a few seconds to pull it up. Well, I do declare. So eating too much sugar has been linked to many health issues and chronic diseases, including cognitive decline. Research has shown that a sugar-laden diet can lead to poor memory and reduce brain volume, particularly in the area of the brain that stores short-term memory. Yes, I did want to read that again. That's It's just unbelievable to me that it could cause this. For example, one study of more than 4,000 people found that those with a higher intake of sugary beverages like soda had lower total brain volumes and poorer memories on average compared to people who consumed less sugar. Cutting back on sugar not only helps your memory, but also improves your overall health. How many of us know that? Give me a woot, woot. <laughs> exactly. Research has shown that people who regularly consume lots of added sugar may have poorer memories and lower brain volumes than those who consume less sugar. So what is a brain volume? This is what I know. I need to know because evidently I need a bunch of it. <laughs> we need to know. Number two, try a fish oil supplement. This I'm really big into. Um, fish oil is rich in omega-3 fatty acids and Something else called docosahexaonic acid. (laughs) Try and say that three times really fast. These fats are important for overall health and have been shown to lower the risk of heart disease, reduce inflammation, relieve stress and anxiety, and slow mental decline. Well, I'm going to get some, and I don't know if you knew this, but you can actually order some online that has a lemon flavor in it, and so you don't burp fish oil all the time. Many studies have shown that consuming fish and fish oil supplements may improve memory, especially in older people. One study of 36 older adults with mild cognitive impairment found that short-term and working memory scores improved significantly after they took concentrated fish oil supplements for 12 months. Another review of 28 studies showed that when adults with mild symptoms of memory loss took supplements rich in DHA and EPA, like fish oil, they experienced improved episodic memory. So both of these are vital to the health and functioning of the brain and also help reduce inflammation in the body, which has been linked to cognitive decline. In summary, fish and fish oil supplements are rich in the omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA. Consuming them may help improve short-term memory, especially in older people. Number three, woo! make time for meditation. <laughs> the practice of meditation may be positively affect, it may positively affect your health in many ways. Well, number one, I can say that it helps you not to be angry all the time, but it's, it is relaxing and soothing and has been found to reduce stress and pain, lower blood pressure and improve memory. In fact, meditation has been shown to increase gray matter in the brain. Gray matter consists of neuron cell bodies. As you age, gray matter declines, which negatively impacts memory and cognitism. All right. As uh, meditation and relaxation techniques have been shown to improve short-term memory in people of all ages, from people in their 20s to the elderly. For example, one study demonstrated that Taiwanese college students who engaged in meditation practices like mindfulness had significantly better spatial working memory than students who did not. Spatial work, working memory is the ability to hold and process information in your mind about the positions of objects in space. 
All right. So meditation is really good. I like to pray and then meditate. So there you go. Get some things off your mind by talking to God about it and then meditate. Number four, maintain a healthy weight. Okay, here we go. Maintaining a healthy body weight is essential for well-being and is one of the best ways to keep your body and mind in top condition. Several studies have established obesity as a risk factor for cognitive decline. Interestingly, being obese can actually cause changes to memory-associated genes in the brain, negatively affecting memory. Oh, that is not good news. I do not like that one. (laughs) I'm sure you don't either. But being obese can actually cause changes to memory-associated genes in the brain, and that negatively affects our memory. Obesity can also lead to insulin resistance and inflammation, both of which can negatively impact the brain. A study of 50 people between the ages of 18 and 35 found that a higher body mass index was associated with significantly worse performance on memory tests. Wow. Wow. I am surprised by that. I have a secret. That's right. Lots of people ask me, Julie, how do you keep your skin looking so young? How do you look so young? Well, I've taught you on the podcast a few of my tricks. I'm staying trendy and staying on point, working out, eating right. But I've never told you this before. I have actually used a product for 30 years consistently, and it's helped my skin look so much younger. And I'm so grateful. As a result, I have decided to go ahead and sell this very product myself. I use TimeWise Repair Volufirm Set from Mary Kay. It is amazing, and it has changed my skin dramatically. If you'd like to know what products I use and get them for yourself, visit MaryKay.com forward slash Julie Tussie. That's MaryKay.com forward slash Julie Tussie. And now, back to the Julie Tessie Show. So thanks so much for hanging with me today. We're talking about 14 ways to improve your memory naturally. 14 natural ways. And we're talking about some great things. So far, we have talked about, let me go back and read them to you. Eating less added sugar. Number two, trying a fish oil supplement. Number three, making time for meditation. And number four, maintaining a healthy body weight. This actually talked about, they tested 18 to 35-year-olds who were obese and they had lower scores in short-term memory. So the summary of it is obesity is a high-risk factor for cognitive decline. Maintaining a body mass index within the normal range may help you to avoid a host of issues associated with obesity, including a poorer memory. So on top of all of the other things you're facing in your health, if you are overweight or obese, now we can add to it memory. gives us much more motivation. I think, to go ahead and get healthy. And I'm here to be your cheerleader. If you didn't know this, you can go back through the archives of the Julie Tussie Show and find a lot of information and a lot of um, encouragement for you that you can do anything you set your mind to, including get your body healthy. Number five, get enough sleep. Now, this is a biggie. Oh, my gosh. And I did not know. I knew that when I did not sleep well, that the next day, sometimes it's been harder to remember as quickly. Like, I remember when my mind was lightning fast. (laughs) And I want it to be lightning fast until I'm 100. So, I need to get proper sleep and so do you. So, lack of proper sleep has been associated with poor memory for quite some time. Sleep plays an important role in memory consolidation, a process in which short-term memories are strengthened and transformed into long-lasting memories. Research shows that if you are sleep-deprived, you could be negatively impacting your memory. Wow. For example, one study looked at the effects of sleep in 40 children between the ages of 10 and 14. One group of children was trained for memory tests in the evening, then tested the following morning after a night's sleep. The other was trained and tested on the same day, with no sleep between training and testing. The group that slept, of course, between training and testing performed 20% better on the memory tests. Another study found that nurses working the night shift made more mathematical errors and that 68% of them scored lower on memory tests as compared to nurses working the day shift. 
So you need to get some sleep if you want to increase your memory or keep your memory healthy. Number six, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is a mental state in which you focus on your present situation, maintaining awareness of your surroundings and feelings. I did not know this. I did not know that this could be associated to the memory, but it does make sense when you're in the middle of the store and you're talking on the phone and stuff. You may not even remember who you walked by or what you walked by in that store. So use mindfulness. Number seven, here's a biggie for you uh, wine-loving girls and guys. Drink less alcohol. Um, Consuming too many alcoholic beverages can be detrimental to your health in many ways and can negatively impact your memory. Binge drinking is a pattern of drinking that raises blood sugar alcohol levels to 0.08 grams per milliliter or above. Studies have shown it alters the brain and results in memory deficits and... uh, I cannot say I've ever done this, but I have heard people say, especially college kids, that they were so drunk they don't remember what they did, okay? And we do not want that happening. So here on the Julie Tussie Show, we're going to encourage you to cut that alcohol down, darling, and be good to your memory. Number eight, train your brain. Exercising your cognitive skills by playing brain games is a fun and effective way to boost your memory. Crosswords, word recall games, Tetris, and even mobile apps dedicated to memory training are excellent ways to strengthen your memory. All right, so they tested some adults and found that that helps. Anybody anybody here on the Julie Tussie Show listening audience and watching audience, do you play games? And if you do, leave it in the comments. When you subscribe, leave a comment and let us know. What you're playing. I'm very interested in that. Number nine. Ah, uh, ah, uh, this is, this is going to get us girls. This is going to get us. Cut down on refined carbs. Consuming large amounts of refined carbs like cakes, cereals, cookies, white rice, and white bread may be damaging to your memory. These foods have a high glycemic index, meaning the body di- digests these carbs carbohydrates quickly, leading to a spike in blood sugar levels. All right, studies have shown that the Western diet, welcome to America, which is high in refined carbs, is associated with dementia. Now, see, I was talking about this, but I was thinking maybe it was the preservatives and the chemicals, and evidently it's the refining of carbs. So there are really healthy carbs that you can get, like sweet potatoes and broccoli and cauliflower and things like that that are good for you. But all of this stuff in a box and a package, darling, I think we're going to have to cut it out if we want to remember who we are and who everybody around us is when we're 80. Number 10, get your vitamin D levels tested. I actually did have a major vitamin D problem and I feel so much better since I got it corrected. Vitamin D is an important nutrient that plays many vital roles in the body. Low levels of vitamin D have been linked to a host of health issues, including a reduction in cognitive function. A study that followed 318 older adults for five years found that those who had blood levels of vitamin D less than 20 nanograms, I like that word, nanograms per milliliter, (laughs) lost their memory and other cognitive abilities faster than those with normal vitamin D levels. So go get you some vitamin D. You can actually have your doctor tested through a blood test and they can give you a prescription or you can kind of go to the store and get it and take it. Number 11, uh, not surprised here, exercise more. Oh my gosh, we get so busy, we don't exercise enough. So exercise is important for overall physical and mental health. Research has established that it's beneficial for the brain and may help improve memory in people of all ages from children to older adults. We know exercise is good for us. So why we don't do it on a regular basis, I don't know. Even me, I exercised uh, weekly for two years, and then I slacked off. Then I moved away from the gym, so I'm still, I'm about to order a treadmill. But exercise is super, super important. So make sure you're doing it, even if not just for your memory, for your body. Choose anti-inflammatory foods is number 12. Consuming a diet rich in anti-inflammatory foods may help improve your memory. Let me pop over and see what they're showing us. for anti- What is an anti-inflammatory food? This is the question that we have. All right, so berries, fatty fish, 
broccoli, avocados, green tea, peppers, mushrooms, grapes, turmeric. You can actually add that. Okay, let's talk about that for a second. It's a spice with a strong earthy flavor that's often used in curries and other Indian food. You can actually put this in just about every kind of soup that you make with fall coming. You can put it in so many things. You can you can go on Google and find a recipe where you just drink turmeric tea or or whatever, however you make it. I know it's in hot water. Maybe you could add tea and turmeric. Uh, virgin olive oil, and I'm going to say avocado oil, which is amazing. You can do high heat cooking in it. Dark chocolate and cocoa. Woo, woo. Like that one. Like that one a lot, but try to do like a 70%. I would recommend. Tomatoes. Oh my gosh. I eat a lot of these cherries. So many healthy foods. So as you could tell, you kind of almost can figure out the healthy foods, but do a little search if you want to on that. Oh, goodness, I'm going to take a break because I just went away from my very own article. (laughs) So we'll be right back here on the Julie Tuzzy Show. And we're back. I got my website back up, healthline.com. We're studying their article, which is uh, 14 Ways to Improve Your Memory Naturally. Number We're on number 13. Consider curcumin or curcumin. Curcumin is a compound found in high concentrations in turmeric root, which we were just talking about a minute ago as an anti-inflammatory. It's one of a category of compounds called polyphenols. I almost need to be a scientist to read this to you. (laughs) That's what I think. It is a potent antioxidant and exerts powerful anti-inflammatory effects on the body. Many studies have proven that it can help you. Multiple animal studies have found that curcumin reduces oxidative damage and inflammation in the brain and also lowers the quality of a, the quantity of amyloid plaques. These accumulated on neurons and can cause cell and tissue death leading to memory loss okay so we are all about turmeric people we uh, i'm gonna go on you know i have the fabulous cooking show by the way you can go and see that at youtube.com forward slash c forward slash tme tv just look for fabulous cooking we have nine episodes out right now one a month for the last nine months and we're gonna go for another year or so yeah, I'm excited about that. If you want to sponsor and have a commercial on the TV show, let me know at julietussie at gmail.com or the julietussie show at gmail.com. Anyway, because we have that cooking show, I am going to research this and find ways to add more turmeric to my dishes. I have noticed when I make like chicken noodle soup and I put it in, it's it's orange. And when you add it, it adds a beautiful color and you really don't taste anything different in it. So I'm going to do a little research. Maybe we'll do a whole show on that. I'm also going to do an entire show for you on Ashawaganda. Yes, that's just a little cliffhanger right there dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I know you guys can't wait for that and was that number 13 so we're on number 14 now this is a great one I'm excited about this cocoa add some cocoa to your diet what girl cannot use some cocoa in her diet right we ta- already talked about getting like a 70 percent cocoa uh, chocolate candy bar, have a little piece every day. You can actually get cocoa or or um, sometimes they call it cacao where it's more natural and it's it's the cocoa bean and you can make your own homemade hot chocolate. All you do is get yourself a cup of your favorite milk or nut milk. I use uh, Carb Master from Kroger's and I like cashew milk and you put in a, a sweetener. I would do like two packs of Truvia, maybe three at four, if I'm really wanting a sweet treat, um, you can use sugar, honey, agave. You can use whatever it is that you want to sweeten. I re- recommend no sugar. And you stir in the sugar and then you put in cocoa powder. I'm going to guess, um, I'm going to guess 
half a tablespoon. You'll have to do a test on it. Maybe I'll do that too and share it with you. But you stir it up really good and you put it in the microwave and you get it out and stir it up again. And you make your own home homemade cocoa. Now, it's going to be good. It's going to be so good. It could be addictive, but it can also be part of a very healthy diet every day. Cocoa is not only delicious, this article says, but also nutritious, providing a powerful dose of antioxidants called flavonoids. Research suggests that flavonoids are particularly beneficial to the brain. Bring on the flavonoids, baby, especially when they're chocolate flavonoid. (laughs) <laughs> they may help stimulate the growth of blood ves- vessels and neurons and increase blood flow in the parts of the brain involved with memory. All right, so we're talking dark chocolate here. A study of 30 healthy people found that those who consume dark chocolate containing 720 milligrams of cocoa flavonoids demonstrated better memory compared to those who consumed white chocolate without cocoa flavonoids. That is amazing, you guys. We're all about dark chocolate. And you know, you can make like, you can make brownies, homemade brownies that are made with, is it chickpeas or some kind of bean? You can Google this and get this. And so you can be getting fiber rich cocoa and helping your brain. To get the most benefit out of chocolate, choose dark chocolate with a cocoa content of 70%. It's C-A-C-A-O, cacao. (laughs) If you know how to say that, you can send it to me. Or higher, and that's where I'm talking about. You can go right in my yourself, Walmart, anywhere, and see right on the label. I buy the great big candy bars. It says right on there, or the chocolate bars, it says 70%. Now, I'm going to warn you, the 80% is kind of scary, super bitter. I couldn't eat it, but I can do 70. And sometimes it's an acquired taste. But just have a little piece after lunch every day or before bed, whichever. That will help ensure it contains larger amounts of antioxidants like flavonoids. Who knew we needed a flavonoid? I like that. I like that word and I want some flavonoids. Cocoa is high in antioxidants that may help improve memory performance. So make sure you're choosing dark chocolate. The bottom line, there are many fun, simple, and even delicious ways to improve your memory. Exercising your mind and body, enjoying a quality piece of chocolate, and reducing the amount of added sugar in your diet are all excellent techniques. Try adding a few of these science-backed tips to your daily routine to boost your brain health and keep your memory in top condition. Well, wasn't that an amazing article? I hope that you guys enjoyed the show today. We have um, we have uh, an Instagram account if you want to go over there and see what we're doing. It's the Julie Tussie Show. I also have the JulieTussieShow.com where you can go and shop. All right, it's it's um, it's fall now in a few days. Maybe by the time you hear this, it will be fall because I'm ahead of schedule. Woo, woo. <laughs> but fall's coming, and it's the perfect time to add that hot cocoa to your diet. So please do take care of yourself. I want to remind you that you have one amazing, awesome life, and you need to l- I have a secret. That's right. Lots of people ask me, Julie, how do you keep your skin looking so young? How do you look so young? Well, I've taught you on the podcast a few of my tricks. I'm staying trendy and staying on point, working out, eating right. But I've never told you this before. I have actually used a product for 30 years consistently, and it's helped my skin look so much younger. And I'm so grateful. First, I drink the coffee. Then I do this stuff. I'm just wild like that. I want this one to be like, in a world of haters, be a lover. I'm here to show you how to do that. Visit the com. Lots of fabulous shopping, beautiful things that you might want to get as a gift or for yourself. You can also reach out to me and communicate with me there. The com. If life is my oyster, darling, pass the hot sauce.